In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaOH. This is silver nitrate and this is sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. It looks like if we put a 2 here and then a 2 here and a 2 here, that will balance the molecular equation. So this is the balanced molecular equation for AgNO3 plus NaOH. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So we know that nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ for aqueous. This is going to dissolve or dissociate completely in water. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. It's going to dissociate completely as well. That's going to be aqueous. Nitrates, again, very soluble. So we'll write aqueous. This silver nitrate, though, we should probably look that up on a solubility table. So on our solubility table, we can find silver right here and then this oxide here and we can go down and if i go across right here it is this i that means it's insoluble it's not going to dissolve in water in fact when we react these two compounds this will fall to the bottom as a precipitate so it's going to be a solid and we're going to write s for solid after it. and then for water that's a liquid so we have the states now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So we need to know the charges in order for that to happen. The first thing you need to know is that silver, while it's a transition metal, it's always one plus, and the nitrate ion, it's always NO3 minus. That's a good one to remember. Sodium group one has a one plus charge. Hydroxide, this OH, the hydroxide ion, that has a one minus ionic charge. So let's split the reactants up into their products. I have two silver ions, two Ag plus, and I won't write aqueous after everything right now. We'll do that at the end. And then I have two of the nitrate ions. That's two NO3 minus. I have two sodium ions, and this two applies to everything, so I have the two hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Now the products. We said sodium, one plus, the nitrate, one minus. So I have two sodium ions, and then two nitrate ions, just like the reactants. Then this Ag2O, silver oxide, it says S after. It's a solid. Since it's a solid, it's at the bottom of the test tube. It's not split apart there, and we won't split it apart in a net ionic equation. We'll just write Ag2O. Same with water. Water is a liquid. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations either. So we'll just write H2O. And those are the products. So this is our complete ionic equation. What we can do now is cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of this complete ionic equation. Essentially, they haven't changed. So you see we have reactants here, two nitrate ions. We also have two nitrate ions in the products. Since they didn't change, we're really not interested in those. We can get rid of them. We have two sodium ions here in the reactants and two in the products. Cross those out. But everything else is unique, and that gives us our net ionic equation. So we have two silver ions plus two hydroxide ions gives us Ag2O, silver oxide, plus water. Let me clean it up, add the states in, and then we'll have a nice tidy net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaOH. And this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.